Welcome to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. Today, I want to encourage you to know that you are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Note, in Christ Jesus. That is to those who are in Christ, those who have been reconciled back to God from our natural sins that we, at, we, we got as the descendants of Adam and Eve. I want to go to the Word of God in the book of Romans chapter 8. I'm going to read verse 28. And we know that in all things, God works together for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Verse 28, for those those God foreknew, he also predestined to be confirmed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the first, firstborn among many br brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. And I'm going to jump and go to first. 37. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Mm. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height or depth or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Today, I want you to be encouraged. That you are more than conquerors. And that God works all things together for good to them that love the Lord. You might ask me, you are saying God works together for good and I'm facing this deportation and I'm facing this, I'm being fired from my job for no reason. Yes, the Lord says that all things work together for good if you are in Christ. Why? Whatever you are passing through, even though it may seem like it's negative, God is pa making you pass through with a reason because he's with you. He has said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's holding you with his victorious light hand. You are not alone in that problem. Maybe you have lost your dear ones. Maybe you have you have uh, uh, been uh, divorced. I want to tell you God is still with you because he says all things work together for good. And it continues to say from verse 37 and 8 there that I know for sure that neither death nor things in the present nor things in the future nor demons will be able to separate us from the love of God. Yes, even that pain you are going through is not going to separate you from the love of God because he loves and endures forever. Even when we think that we are not lovable, even when you are so much depressed, he still loves you the same. He's going to come when you are down to lift you high up. For a lifting, somebody must be down. So when you are down, know that God will come and lift you up with his hand. Sometimes we cry. It is okay to cry. But when we cry, God come and comfort us. He said, I am with you. And that's why I always like to refer to David. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Yes, there are so many things we go through. There are so many discouragements we go through. But in all those, God is still with you. Maybe you are, not, you are already bankrupt. Maybe you, are, you don't even know where the next meal is going to come from. Or you are lent or the school fees of your children. But I want to tell you, Jehovah Jireh is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In the time of Abraham, when there was no hope, but he hoped in God and he was raising his, his hand with a knife to cut Isaac for sacrifice. When he looked up as a sign of prayer, he saw a God stuck in the thicket for the sacrifice. The 11th hour God is our God. That's why I want to encourage you according to the scripture for today. That in all these things we know, all things work together for good to them that love you. And not only that, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. That is only in Christ Jesus. Because if it is in your friend, you are going to be discouraged for sure. So today, learn to lean on the Lord. Learn to trust him in that dark moment. Know he's going to come with his right of righteousness and light the way for you. At the end of the tunnel, they say, there is hope. There is a right at the end of the tunnel. Through it all, you are a testimony in a making. And after you have gone through this, you'll look back and say, my, is it me who was there? And you'll give glory to God and you'll be an encouragement to somebody else. May the Lord bless you. Continue to share this message. And I want to believe you are going to have a day with a positive attitude in the name of Jesus. Thank you.